What price would you pay to protect your kid's life? Some parents are shelling out hundreds of dollars for bulletproof backpacks. Siobhan Anderson shows us how these backpacks work. Would your kid wear one of these? Bulletproof backpacks tested on the range. It's, it's a good idea and I understand parents are worried about their children. But it's a no for Michael Lacey. You can't send your kids to school in a full armored outfit. He's got four kids in Centerville schools and the district has his full trust. But other parents nationwide are flocking to stores. The demo from a company called Bullet Blockers, the Massachusetts-based business, first debuted the design 10 years ago. It's still a big seller, according to owner Joe Curran, who talked to Fox 45 by phone. Maybe 50 a day, somewhere around there, maybe a little bit more. Sales up 400% since the Parkland shooting in February. We started with just backpacks, but, you know, because some schools don't allow it. Now notebooks, tablets, even bulletproof portfolios. School safety becoming a massive market. I've had conversations with my kids. Uh, about exit strategies. It's why Chris Monturo invented this. The secure window, a reinforced steel plate designed to delay entry into a classroom. You can't say, well, it won't happen here, and, and sure enough, it does. The Centerville dad trying to get his tools into schools, recently working to add a panic button feature to his product. It's a very serious thing. It's, a, it's unfortunate, but it's the reality. Do you talk about safety at school with your kids? You yes, we do. Lacey adding it's important to have conversations as a family, making sure kids understand what to do in their own classrooms.